All right, guys, so I want to give you a tutorial on how to not use Windows Ink in Photoshop. Uh, so I went about a year and a half um, just with Windows Ink completely off, and that made it to where I couldn't use my pressure sensitivity on my, uh, on my tablet. Um, and when I was able to use it finally, um, it was just a, such a big difference that um, I think this this uh, is a, a major thing that you should do if you're using Windows. Um, because you want to be able to uh, have that pressure sensitivity in your tablet. Here's a, uh, a brush stroke without the pressure sensitivity. And then here it is with it. And right now I am not using Windows Ink. It's, com it's just completely off. Um, and I'm able to use my brushes without uh, Windows Ink. And what Windows Ink would do was make it really glitchy. Uh, I, would have, I would have to hold down this slider uh, just to be able to pick it up and slide it for a couple seconds and it was just really bad. So um, I was really happy to be able to bypass that altogether. Um, so what you do is you go to your desktop and you right click and click new uh, text document. Um, and on this, just type uh, PS user config, just like that. Uh, don't type the dot text because uh, when I did it, I, I, I typed that and it, it uh, doubled it and it didn't work. So just type in PS user config and I'll have uh, everything you need to type in the description so you can just copy and paste it. Um, and when you go in here, uh, this is what you need to type uh, exactly like this. Um, and that's it. Uh, and then file save. And then now you're gonna want to go into your file locations. So just go to File Explorer um, and straight away go to View right here and then go to Hidden Items and check that. Uh, in order to see the file you need to go to. Then you go to your uh, main files, uh, go to user, um, whatever your, your username is, and then um, there will be this hidden file called app data. Just double click app data, go to roaming, go to Adobe, and then go to your version of Adobe uh, Photoshop. Uh, mine's 2020, so I'll double click that. Go to uh, Photoshop 2020 settings. And then all you do is you take this and put it in there. Um, I already did that, so I'm not going to do it again. And it will go into this, uh, this setting file. Um, and it will completely bypass Windows Inc and it will use your stylus or tablet or whatever you have uh, the way it was intended to without all those weird settings. Um, I don't really know what they were doing <laughs> with Windows Inc, but it was it, it's just really bad. I don't like it at all and it's very glitchy. Um, so uh, here's mine. So in order for this to start working, you're gonna have to restart your computer. So go ahead and restart your computer. <clears throat> and then when you go to Photoshop, you'll be able to use your, your pen uh, without Windows Ink. And I would suggest um, to go into whatever uh, settings you have and make sure that use Windows Ink is checked off. So you're not gonna be using Windows Ink at all with this tablet. Um, and you should be good to go. 
and I hope that help you guys uh, be able to use your tablet a little bit better. Um, it was such a big deal to me and uh, my art improved just by doing that setting because <laughs> uh, the, the pen tablets were intended for the, the sensitivity that uh, comes along with it. So you're gonna want to be able to use that on Windows. Um, I hope this helped you. And uh, if you have any qu uh, questions, please comment in the comment section. That's all I have for you guys. Have a good one.